Hi YouTube, Diva D here. As you can see, I flat ironed my hair. Ooh. Tell you what I did, I co-washed my hair with Suave Humectant uh, Conditioner. And after that, I applied shea butter. Then I, what did I braid my hair? Oh, I did both. I braided my hair and I twisted my hair, not for any particular reason, it's just uh, a lazy thing if you will so <laughs> I put braids in the back twist in the front and no particular reason why I think maybe I was trying to stretch the back out more I don't know sort of hang but anyway that's what I did and so then in the morning I um my hair air dried overnight and in the morning continued to dry I think I left it in till afternoon or something like that and then later afternoon I started to flat iron it out um, now I started to blow dry my hair and I think I learned something here that I don't always have to blow dry my hair before I straighten it. And the way I found that out was I blow dry the back of my hair totally and my front was still all kind of kinky curly from the twist or whatever. And my hair dryer just coughed, just <coughs> And it turned off <laughs> and it just gave up the ghost. It was gone. It was just no, and I was like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. And it was like nothing. So <laughs> I was like, okay, what am I going to do? I got half blown out hair and half twisted. You know, what do I do here? And I had no choice but to take my flat iron and just twist my hair that had air dried. Did I say twist? Flat iron my hair that I had twisted. That had air dried earlier sorry <laughs> um but you get the picture of what i did so i just flat ironed it without blow drying the front of it and it came out great i was like whoa you mean i could just let my hair air dry and twist and just go straight to the flat iron skip the blow drying part because that's going to save me time and save me putting too much heat on my hair huh huh I don't think I'll ever do the two again, ever, together. Either I'm going to just blow dry it when I want to blow dry it look, or I'm just going to twist it overnight to stretch it out and then go straight to flat ironing without blow drying it first. I don't know why I had in my head that I had to blow dry my hair first and then flat iron it. I, I don't know if it's a relaxer thing or... I, I don't I don't know where I got that from. It could have been just the idea of drying my hair. Maybe that's what it was that you know you have to dry your hair first and then flat iron it. Blah blah blah. But since I hit it since it had dried overnight, then I didn't I didn't really need to blow dry it and it still came out um, fine. See this part of my hair wasn't even blow dried, just straight from twist to flat iron. So. You get the picture. But um, tell me what you guys think and give you guys a good look at the back. Hopefully you can see the back. Come on, let me be still. Hold my balance. Here's the back. Um, as you can see, let me back it up a little bit. Um, I did not get it bone straight. If you can see it, hopefully you see waves, curls, and kinks at the roots there. I did not get it bone straight bone straight so there's a lot of puff underneath here now my hair is naturally looser on the top so the top is going to look look more straight than the bottom because this is a looser curl this is a tighter curl so you're going to be able to see those a lot easier and when i did the top i tried to make sure that i went very fast and very quick on the top so I would not uh, damage my hair. So I hope you guys could hear me with my head turned. <laughs> but um, tell me what you guys think. I just got the side swooped over and got a little pin stuck up in there, stuck in there like boop. Um, but uh, that's what I got going on. Tell me what you guys think. I just I know I said that like five times. I'm just so excited because I can't believe that my hair is this straight and you know hasn't reverted to a poof by the end of the day it's just like what it's 10 30 or something 
at night on Tuesday night and my hair has not reverted back to the afro yet so I'm like wow really <laughs> so you have to forgive me for being really into my hair right now because I'm like it's been a long time I've been set, I've been natural for seven years <laughs> and this is the length that I had um, before I decided to go natural this is about the length I had now um, had I not have had had to cut my hair a good three to four times throughout my journey due to dry ends and uh, frying my ends with hair color and things like that. Had I not had to do that, I would guess that my hair might be as twice as long as it is now. And not to harp on the longness of hair or anything, but that's just an observation that I'm making that had I known what I know now, my hair would probably be twice as long, seven years natural, okay? So, um, this is the result of getting several haircuts throughout the journey. But, you know, you got to do what's healthy. You know, healthy hair is more important than long hair. So, I went ahead and had to let those ends go as I educated myself and watched videos and watched other people, you know. Here's a, here's a look at the back again before I go. Well, let me do a side view. Side view, back view, top view, oops, sorry, and oops, side view again, let me get a little up close front, you can see some of that red still peeking in through there, it's really, um, that red is really bright in the sunlight too, so tell me what you guys think for the 10th time, because I really want to know. <laughs> You can keep your negative comments though if you don't like it, you know, just you don't have to say anything. You don't have to say nothing. <laughs>